Listen up, partners. This is Good, Bad, Ugly on World Improv Network. Good evening, everyone. I am Alex. I'm Jim. And I'm Chris. And we are your astute wind counselors to get you through the week with any problems you might be facing or any daily grind issues that you're currently experiencing. So we're going to go to our first winner, and it's a pretty deep question. It's Thomas from Sun City, Arizona. And Thomas writes, Dear Wynn, what are the secrets to living a long life and a healthy one? Hmm. Um, so my grandmother lived, uh, she just recently, well, she died like a year or a half ago. Um, and she was a hundred and a half, a hundred and two thirds. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, she's really old and for really, she was pretty healthy for the extent of it. Um, and so judging by her life, what I can tell you is have a lot of children and work constantly. Um, that sounds like a very low stress kind of life. Um, yeah, well, I guess it is. Uh, <laughs> if, if raising seven children is low stress <laughs> and working constantly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that kind of goes against conventional wisdom of try to have a low stress life, you know, try to take everything in stride kind of thing to, to live longer, to keep your hair from going gray. Well, and the thing is, I don't necessarily know how low stress it was. Maybe it was just she was always so busy. She never had time to Be think stressed. about it, oh, you know? Good point. You know what? I, how are you going to dispute that? That's a hundred. Yeah. Old. That's amazing, I, and I'm glad that she had that long of a life, my man. She isn't, but yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. She she was ready to go at about 91. Well, well you know, there you go. It's kind of like you know, you get another nine years out of the tail end of a car that you didn't think you were going to have that long. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Um, I don't know. I think here's the answer. Very simple. Oatmeal every morning, a lot of sex. Uh, you know, as much as I like that diet... Uh, <laughs> I think that, like, health is a lot more than, like, physical, taking care of your body. It's Mm -hmm. mental, man. So do what you want to do. Do drugs. Break the law. Do whatever (laughs) comes to your heart so you don't have any kind of mental regret. Because that's what kills you, man. Jesus. Jesus. I don't have long on this earth. (laughs) Yeah. Like, I have a lot. I have long time because I don't care. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I don't think care was what you were initially going to say. It's not. (laughs) So hold on a second, though. So let's say if you kill somebody or you're a mass murderer and you had no regret at the time until you're sitting in prison with a life sentence and you start having regret, does that mean then it's going to kind of reverse the you know the hands of time? And- well, if you knew you were going to have regret about it, then don't do it, Alex. I only kill people that I know I'm not going to have regret about. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's almost like conscious free murder would be okay yeah yeah oh. that that is what i'm endorsing <laughs> it's yeah. conscious free murder you know thomas <laughs> i hope that really really helps i mean if you're not going to take uh my advice or you're not going to take the little backstory of jim's grandmother definitely might want to absorb chris's advice because i'm assuming that's going to get you really far especially down in sun city where they don't have a chance to run away from you okay well uh our next can i just say i i'm sorry i didn't realize that uh, the winner was from sun city no yeah. i just want to make it clear that i'm not going to play sun city you're not just for the record okay you mean the video game sun city because it's actually no. sim city it's- no no i'm Talk, okay, that, uh, that was the uh, an obscure reference that Your has really backfired, because uh, <laughs> Sun City is in South Africa, Oh yeah, I know and that. so you 2 had a protest song of Not Gonna Play Sun City ah. back during the apartheid years. Oh, yeah. Sing a little bit, so the winners know what that is. Uh, so why don't you sing it? Not I've been to p- South Africa, you can sing it to me. Uh, it's, uh, I'm not gonna play Sun City. Oh, I'm not gonna play Sun City. You know, you didn't have to sing it. We were okay. just, it's fine if you cool. don't sing it. Because I really don't know any of the words or like the melody or anything. That seemed evident. It was really just the political part of it that spoke to me. Mm. Okay, well that was very cool because I didn't, I, I didn't think you were coming from that angle and that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, Jim is an absolute genius and therefore we're gonna have to move on to the next question. <laughs> Richard from Toronto, Canada writes, Dear Wynn, ah, the hack of the affair website Ashley Madison caused millions of accounts to be compromised and at least two people so, vol- two people so far involved to commit suicide. What are your thoughts about this site? Hmm. Oh man. <laughs> you know what? I think Chris, you have a, you have a straight edge on this thing. So why don't you just jump in right away and tell us what you think about Ashley Madison and, and what's going down with the hack and the two people that have killed themselves are part of that hack plan, I guess. Hey, if there's anything from watching Boardwalk Empire that I've learned is a paper trail always leads to suicide. Mm-hmm. Don't do anything That's wrong if you're going to leave a paper trail. And don't feel guilty about it and therefore to kill yourself. Don't feel guilty about it. Right. Like, right. if you're with a woman and you feel the need, or a man, because, you know, I think both yep. genders were 
jerks. Anybody can cheat. Anybody can be a cheater. Um, I don't know. If you're with them and you want to cheat on them, then like do so with a free mind because you don't love that person anyway. And so how are you affected by their feelings? So, so the argument of, of, you know, a long marriage is only based on the fact that you have to cheat from time to time to keep it, you know, kind of refreshed and so on is not based on morality. Nope. Um, okay. <laughs> I got it. What do you think, Jimbo? I, I just find the whole thing abhorrent that okay. this place exists. That they market- had millions of users and subscribers to hack their information. Yeah. It was like and 80 million, wasn't it? It's retarded. Yeah. Well, 37 I, million people got, got I think their- there might have been like, 79 million of them are dudes. <laughs> so, um, That's a lot of money to then be taken it, out of the system there. Yeah. I, I, it just really bugs me how overt they are that they market it as yeah. a site for cheaters. Yeah, yeah. Um, which just, I think it says more about how the people that register for that site want to be perceived uh-huh. than what they actually, I mean, I'm sure they're the fair share of cheaters, but it's people that just want to feel like, badasses that are having an affair do you think it has anything to do with today's society at all like kind of a sign of the times kind of a thing well i mean it's just an extension i'm sure if these people are cheaters they would have cheated whether they used ashley uh-huh. madison or not this, this is, just makes it easier just a conduit to make it a lot easier yeah uh-huh. and interesting uh okay well i mean i think it was 37 million or something like that chris kind of touched on it of people's accounts that got compromised and those two people that got that killed themselves out of regret again stupid move why did you go into it anyway if you're going to have regret after the fact mm-hmm. what's know, that percentage though two percent two yeah, people of 37 million yeah, okay. well, that's, it's tiny let's figure that out hey jimbo um okay that is uh six uh, 100 millions. Hold on, we're gonna see if you're right there. I think it's like 6e to the negative 8 or 6e to the negative 9. Oh, it's 5.4 to the negative 8. Oh, God, pretty, Jim, you're so but, stupid. Yeah, you're so stupid. You said 6. I mean, 5.4 is not even close, Jim. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Like, again. You can conscious free murder me for that. Well, and <laughs> Good. we have to because you're an absolute genius, and there's a very fine line between insanity and, and being a genius. Mm. I was voted most likely to be the Unabomber in high school. <laughs> Why do they have that as a category? Oh, no, no, that was just a personal thing that a bunch of people said to me. That's a messed <laughs> up. <laughs> most likely to be the Unabomber. <laughs> oh, man. Any, any uh, plans on moving to Montana at all? Jeff? No, no. I just bought some land outside. Those shades are looking pretty good on you, though. They do look I like good. that hoodie. Nice. Yeah. And, you know, with the cans on your head, you do look kind of impressive. Thank you. Wow. Unabomber. And conscious free. Oh, and how excuse would you me. It? I have to take you guys off a list. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, gosh. It's the only reason I give compliments. So people <laughs> won't kill me consciously free. And consciously, you know, I, I just want to add to the Ashley Madison there thing. It's like, what, 5, what, 5.4, 5.6, what, negative to the, what was it? 5.4 to the negative 8. Yep. That's really not that bad. Yeah. You know, so, so, that's, psh- so in that case, go on. Rock on, Ashley yeah, Madison. Yeah, talk to me when it is 6 to the negative 8. Right. At that point in time, we have to have a concern. <laughs> how many more people is that, Jim? Uh oh, uh, that's going to be. Uh, f- uh oh 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 no, it's going to be f- like five million. Oh, good. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Again, a genius, borderline Unabomber. Okay, Jolene from Jackson, Mississippi writes, "Dear Wim, since you guys live in a legalized marijuana state, do you have any insight on how to prevent my daughter from getting wrapped up in illicit drugs?" I don't know if she needs to ask you this, Chris, since you don't really have much concept of. <laughs> Actually, you... I have a good answer for this. Okay, what is it? Uh, you can't you can't make it seem like it's so bad because they're going to want to do it. You're going to have to have a, a legitimate conversation with your daughter. Uh-huh. Uh, say, hey, if you want to smoke marijuana, let's smoke it together. And we're going to do so in a safe environment just so you know what it's like. And you know that it's not a big, huge thing. Because she's, if she's doing it alone at a party, you don't know like what other drugs are going to mm. be there that she's going okay, to Okay, first off, if she's doing it alone at a party, <laughs> she's probably pretty lame. <laughs> or um. already far down the road. <laughs> yes. Yes. Of yes. Chasing the dragon, is that what you call it, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's heroin, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I mean. That's the next step when you're doing right. that by yourself. Marijuana, heroin, uh, hand in hand. That's all, yeah. all really, means. if you're doing anything alone at a party, though, that's a sign that socially you have some problems. <laughs> that's true. And that the next step's either the dragon or the Unabomber. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, that's a good point. Actually, if you ramrod it down her throat, I would make her smoke, I don't know, 45 bowls straight. Oh, I would the, love that parent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
to the point, like you said, this is no big deal. It's really not that cool. I'm not going to get peer pressured into it. I'm not, nor am I going to have the curiosity to want to, you know, chase the dragon <laughs> at a later point <laughs> at a party by myself in the bathroom, locked the door, you know, with the shower running, uh, anything like that. Uh, I think that's probably, you know, Chris is a, uh, take on this or his angle on how to address it might be a good way of doing it. Otherwise, the only other thing you can do is lock her up in the basement, shackle style, do it like, uh, what's like, what was that TV show? Really good one. HBO. The Simpsons. <laughs> Oz? No. It's, um, about the guy who cooks meth. He's a chemistry. That was oh, an HBO. Breaking Bad. Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. Yeah, yeah. You know that scene where he locks him to the, to the basement, to the yeah. foundation, you know, pole. And then he kills him with, uh, handcuffs? Ends up, yeah, because the what guy was, was trying to betray him. He was going to yeah, do something what? else. what? I liked him. He made you like him and think that he was yep. telling the truth. And yep. then you realize, nope, he was planning the entire time. That's so, the criminal element for God. you. That's it. And that's the other option that, uh, you know, she would have, that jo- Jolene would have. Is can, I, can I just augment your solution very slightly here, oh, Alex? Okay, yeah, go ahead. I agree. Have her smoke 45 bowls. Every time she takes a hit, though, tase her. Oh, really yes. get the <laughs> negative reinforcement of what, you know, smoking marijuana is going to do to you. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. That's brilliant. Again, a genius over here, guys. <laughs> a genius. Okay, we got time for one more. At least we're going to make it happen anyway. We have <laughs> Sebastian from Paris, France. Okay. Dear Wynn. What would you gentlemen have done during the attempted terrorist attack on the Paris-bound train a few days ago, which were stopped and foiled by three American passengers? Oh, I think we're getting homage here. Uh, I would have cowered between my seats. Uh-huh. Between the seats? Yeah, like but the seat in front of me and my seat, I would have oh, okay. gotten down into a crouch and held my uh, arms over my head mm. to protect me. Okay, I would have screamed out cowabunga, turned into a Ninja Turtle, and charged full steep, steep ahead with some pizza in my hand and smacked him in the face. See, <laughs> to me, the problem isn't what was happening on a train. It was what happened before the train that made these terrorists grow up to think they want to kill people. Right. So as their parents, I would have sat them down at a young age and tell them, like, hey, like, we'll kill people in a controlled environment. Right. Do it with me. That way you're not hijacking a train <laughs> later on and making news. Well, and on top of that, too, you're also causing delays in the train system. And Paris yeah, is an extremely a busy city. And, well, let's be honest. If you're going to hijack a train, why are you doing a normal train? Right. You need to hijack a train that's going to travel through dark territory so that there no one can uh, interfere with whatever you're going to do on the train. Oh, see, again, a genius over there. Sounds dirty. like the Unabomber. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> hey, chance favors the prepared mind. <laughs> you're absolutely right. That's an awesome quote. <laughs> uh, or the Unabomber. <laughs> what a, what a, what a, just, so, Chris, you would have you would have just done the, the parent thing. I mean, that's a good you idea. Done the parent thing. Preventative Way maintenance. The, yeah, preventive maintenance. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there you have it. Well, I hope that answers your question, winner. And thank you so much for submitting your questions to us. And we have one more little piece of inspiration to get you the rest of the week, known as Horoscope Corner. Love, fortune, status. Let us do your astrological chart. Horoscope Corner on World Improv Network. Oh, hey there, Aries. You're represented by the god of war. But you know what? He's not the god of war right now. He's been downgraded to the god of small conflicts in a forest. But you know what? You can get that back up if you go to the World Improv Network Facebook page. Like us there. Check out the World Improv Network YouTube channel. Subscribe. Like some videos. Check out at World Improv Net on Twitter. You can send us suggestions. Uh, we can use those during the show. Or, and, uh, follow us there. And you can get us, get at us on iTunes at the World Improv Network podcast. Uh, subscribe to the podcast, download some episodes, listen to the episodes, leave a review, leave some stars. And, uh, you know what? Then your god of war is gonna get his weight back up, playa. Thanks for listening to Win on KZKO. Don't forget to interact with the cast by sending your suggestions for each segment throughout the week by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, Twitter at World Improv Net, or the Win KZKO blog. See you next week.